Today I'm going to challenge myself to shoot a series of portrait and fashion images using just one lens, the 35mm 1.4. Most people when they go out on location, they probably grab their prime lenses. Often it's an 85-1-2, a 50-1-2, and sometimes some people will grab a 35. So I decided to do the same thing. I picked up a 35 millimeter lens, I bought it a couple years ago, and then guess what? I didn't use it, it sat there. And so today what I want to do is I want to take myself out of my comfort zone and try to shoot just with that lens. The lens that I have here is actually the EF35 and I have an adapter for it to work with my R5. Now I'm considering getting the RF35 but today is to convince myself that I definitely want to go that direction. So let's take a look at what I can make. All right, so let me take you through my mindset as I shoot with the 35. Now, typically, if I'm grabbing my 85 or my 50 or my 7200, I don't have to worry as much about the background. You know, if there's a distraction, no problem. I can blur it out or I can use the compression to reduce it. But with the 35, that's not the case. What I'm going to have to do is look for compelling environments or change my angle, maybe get down low to simplify the background. So the first thing I'm going to look for is beautiful light because I want to lead with light is the most important thing. And then I'm going to check for interesting, clean and compelling environments. What first caught my attention about this scene, of course, is the colors. So I had the bright yellow of her dress and the yellow of the trees behind her and then the warmth of the brick. And I knew this would create a gorgeous color scheme. Plus adding the direct sunlight made everything super saturated. Now the challenge with the 35 is that there were some distractions in the background. There's garbage and fire hydrants. So as I adjusted my composition, I tried to block those elements with her body. The light was changing extremely quickly and it was getting very dark, it was moving. And so at the end, I actually had part of her body and part of her coat in shadow, but I thought it made a very interesting gradation of color. One of the things I did notice is that shooting at a 35 millimeter focal length, the face and eye tracking wasn't as noticeable. When the subject's head was very small in the frame, you couldn't really see the eyes in order to grab focus on those eyes. But for these shots, I was shooting wide open at 1.4 and I still got a lot of really tack sharp images. This super saturated red wall caught my attention immediately. And what I was thinking is that the subject would really pop against that background but there's also another color theory going on. It's triadic color, the blue of her eyes, the yellow of her dress, the red of that background, and color is one of the key elements of my style. Also what was really nice is there was a beautiful flat light across the entire scene, so her face and her eyes were glowing, and I could definitely have her beautiful pale skin pop against that environment. One of the things I wanted to push myself to try in this little experiment was shooting with the 35 as a portrait lens. So I knew that whatever's closest to the camera will appear largest. So I had the subject kneel down and lift her chin up to me so that her eyes and her face were closest to camera. So in this instance, even though I'm close and even though I'm shooting at 35, there wasn't any problematic distortion. As the light got lower in the sky, it created gorgeous dappled light. The reason I thought this was so interesting is that that texture of light in the background would create visual interest. So I found a tiny pocket of light for my subject to stand in so it would be saturated and pop the colors of her outfit, but I had to be really careful with her poses because she'd quickly move in and out of the light. Now in this situation there was a lot of contrast, bright highlights from the sun on her face and dark, dark shadows. So I added a reflector into the scene just to lift the shadows a little bit and introduce more detail. Adding the sun to your composition can add a really cinematic effect. So I decided to turn my subject away from the sun and backlight her. Then as she moved, as I moved, I would have the sun just peek out over her shoulder creating this really beautiful lens flare. However, when I did that, the photo didn't really have much balance. Her face looked a little bit dark and a little bit flat. So I added a reflector to brighten up her face and add a bit more contrast. Now where I was shooting, there was a lot of distractions, a lot of people, a lot of things in the environment. So what I did is I often got a little bit closer to her and also at a little bit lower angle. And that would allow me to eliminate all of those elements that weren't adding to my photograph. One of the 
ways that I like to use wide angle lenses is to get low, have my subject close, and to really exaggerate their movement. So I knew that I wanted my subject to step closer to me, move her dress, because I thought that that would create a very powerful stance. Uh, now, it's also really good to use the wide angle lens in order to incorporate more environment, and I thought this environment was really pleasing. I loved the dappled light because she could just be in a pocket of sunlight. Plus, the color of the brick buildings in the background was a really nice complement to the clothing she was wearing. So fundamentally, I just had to get the right angle, just the perfect pocket of light, and have my subject move to make the shot more interesting. All of these different images were taken in about 45 minutes walking around my neighborhood. And I love what we got, not only the color, but also how that 35 millimeter lens looked in my shot. So I accepted the challenge and I'm pretty sure that I love it and I'll be pulling this lens out more often. Now if you want to see the gear used in the making of this video, be sure to check out the links in the description below and visit Adorama.com. And of course, be sure to subscribe because I have a ton more of these videos coming your way. See you guys next time. Woo! <laughs>